equations number three, a progressive wave is represented by the equations y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2x. So if you compare with the equations y equals to a sine omega t minus kx. Okay, so we know that the amplitude here is 5. Okay, and omega is equal to 2 pi, k is equal to pi over 2. Okay, questions 3a determine the amplitude. So if you compare with the equations, amplitude a is equal to 5 cm because here already mentioned in cm and omega is equal to 2 pi here. Okay, so omega is equal to 2 pi radian per second and then the wavelength. Okay, so wavelength we can use k equals to 2 pi over lambda to 5 where we know k is equal to pi over 2 okay so pi over 2 we substitute into the equations where pi and pi we can cancel therefore wavelength or lambda is equals to 4 cm or we can change it into meter 0 0.04 meter okay next one we want to find the period okay so we know that omega is equal to 2 pi over t where omega just now we already found from the equations where is equal to 2 pi so therefore period is equal to 1 second okay next one we want to find the frequency okay so as we know frequency is equal to 1 over period so 1 over 1 is equal to 1 hertz okay after that we want to find the wave speed okay so we want to find the speed for the wave and it's equal to f lambda where f is equal to 1 hertz lambda is equal to 0 0.04 so we will get b the velocity of the wave is equal to 0 0.04 meter per second okay and the directions of the motion so from the equations give here negative okay so negative here shows that the wave is propagate to the right okay so the answer the direction is equal to to the right Okay, so this is questions 3a. Okay, next we want to sketch a displacement against the distant graph for the progressive wave above in the range of between 0 to 2 lambda when t is equal to 0. Okay, so the equations give us this now. y is equal to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2x. So when t equals to 0, meaning that this one equals to 0, our y will equal to 5 sine negative pi over 2x okay so as we know cos negative theta is actually equal to cos theta okay whereas for sine negative theta it will equal to negative sine theta okay so this negative here okay the negative here we can take it out and we can write it as y equals to negative pi sine pi over 2x so this is a negative sine graph okay so we can sketch the graph negative sine graph and they ask us to sketch in 2 lambda okay so this is 1 lambda 2 lambda okay so this is 1 lambda and we plot the graph y in cm versus x in cm okay so we must label y exit and also x exit where the amplitude here is equal to 5 and here will be negative 5 okay and for 1 lambda because we know that k is equal to 2 pi over lambda and from the equations given us we know that k is also equal to pi over 2 okay so pi and pi we can cancel so we know that lambda is actually equal to 4 cm okay so we can label here 4 so here will be 8 okay so this is the graph for y equals to negative 5 sine pi over 2 x graph okay next we go to 3c Repeat questions B, but for time equals to 0 0.25 t. Okay, so now we want to sketch the graph when t equals to 0 0.25 t. t here is the period. Okay, from the equation y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2x. Okay, so now we want to substitute t equals to 0 0.25 t. Yeah? t here is the period uh, where we know that period just now from 3a is equal to 1 second. Okay, so we substitute into the equation 5 sine 2 pi t t is equal to 0 0.25 minus pi over 2x Okay, therefore our equation we can write it as 5 sine pi over 2 minus pi over 2x 
or we can write it as negative 5 sine pi over 2x minus pi over 2. Okay, so we take out the negative and then the equation we will get negative 5 sine pi over 2x minus pi over 2. Okay, so from the equations we know that it is a, a negative sine graph. Okay, and remember there is a initial phase difference at behind. So we later we need to shift our graph. Okay, so we plot negative sine graph first. Okay, negative sine graph, one lambda, two lambda. Okay, but the equations here, that is the initial phase difference here. So we need to shift, okay, by negative pi over two. Okay, so if we extend it, okay, extend our graph, we need to shift our graph. Okay, we need to shift our graph by pi over two or 90 degree. Okay, because of negative, so we must shift our y exit to the left. Huh? So this is our initial phase difference and is equal to negative pi over 2. Meaning that our graph, we should start from the amplitude. Okay, so the, the graph actually, we should draw a cost graph. Okay, so this is 1 lambda, where the lambda here just now, we know that it's equal to 4. Okay, so here we Okay, so for one complete oscillation, 1 lambda is equal to 4, 2 lambda is equal to 8. Okay, so we must label all the value. Okay, and for y exit, this is y in cm, this is x in cm, and the amplitude here is 5 and also negative 5. Okay, so this is the graph for when t equals to 0 0.25 period times t. Okay, 3D, sketch the displacement against time for the particle when x is equal to 0 and at the range of 0 to 2t. Okay, so the equation from 3a, we know that y is equal to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2x. So we substitute x equals to 0. So when x equals to 0, our equation will equal y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t. Okay, so this one is very easy because we know that very clear it is a sine graph. Okay, so the graph that we will sketch is a positive sine graph. So 1 lambda. Okay, so because the question asks us to plot displacement against the time graph, meaning that we must label y versus time in second. Okay, so meaning that for one complete cycle here, this is the period from the value that we find, the period is equal to one second, and this one is two second. Okay, so this is 0 0.5, this one will be 1.5. And the amplitude here is 5 and also negative 5. Okay, so this is the graph for 5 size 2 pi t. Okay, okay, next one. We will go to 3e. So for 3e, sketch the displacement against t. Okay, when x equals to 1.5 lambda, and they ask you to plot at the range of 0 to 2t. Okay, so we know that just now wavelength lambda is equal to 4 cm. Okay, so meaning that x is equal to 1.5 lambda, lambda we convert, we substitute 4, therefore x is equal to 6 cm. Okay, 6 cm. So from the equation, y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2 x. So we must substitute x equals to 6. So it will equal to 5 sine 2 pi t minus pi over 2 times 6. Okay, so our equation is equal to 5 sine 2 pi t minus 3 pi. Okay, so we know that this is a positive sine graph. Okay, so this is a positive sine graph. Okay, but remember, Okay, but remember here we have a initial phase angle negative 3 pi. So our the graph we should extend it by 3 pi, 1 pi. Okay, so this is 1 pi, 2 pi, and also 3 pi. Okay, so so therefore our graph because negative 3 pi, so we must shift to the left by negative 3 pi. So the new graph here is actually we should start from a negative sine graph huh? because the actual graph is actually start from start from this point okay so our new graph here for 5 sine 2 pi t minus 3 pi is actually a negative sine graph okay so we must label it this is y in cm this is t in second and for one complete oscillation period is equal to 1 so this is 2 1.5 and also 0 0.5 and the amplitude here is 5 cm and also negative 5 okay so this is the graph for 5 sine 2 pi t minus 3 pi Okay, or actually we also can write it as y equals to negative 5 sine 2 pi t. Okay, so it's actually same meaning with y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t minus 3 pi. Okay, or actually we also can write it as here. Okay, if you shift from this point also, we will get the same graph. Huh? Okay, 
Okay, we also can write it as y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t minus 1 pi. Okay, or we also can write it as, okay, if we start from here also, we will get the same graph. Okay, but this one you must shift to the right. So our initial phase angle is equal to positive pi. So therefore, we can write our equation y equals to 5 sine 2 pi t plus pi. Okay, so all the equation actually we will give you the same graph. Okay. The question number four, a progressive wave is represented by an equation 20 sine 150 pi t minus 1.8 x, where y in cm t is in second and x is the distance in the meter. They calculate the wave velocity. So as I mentioned, V wave is equal to F lambda. So from the equation, y equals to A sine omega t minus kx. Okay, we know that omega is equal to 150 pi and omega also equals to 2 pi f. Okay, so pi and pi we can cancel all. Therefore, f is equal to 150 over 2. Okay, so we will get 75 hertz. Okay, next one, if you want to find lambda, we can use k, where k for the equation here is equal to 1.8 and is also equal to 2 pi over lambda. So therefore, our lambda is equal to 2 pi over 1.8. Okay, so we can substitute into the equations where f is 75. Lambda is 2 pi over 1.8. Okay, and the question already mentioned in meter, so we don't need to convert. Okay. So finally, the answer that we will get is equal to 261.83 meter per second. And the direction is to the right. Okay. Okay, last question, question number five. Here they give you the displacement against distance graph after t for the progressive wave which propagates to the left. Okay, with the speed of 20 cm per second. Okay, and the question already mentioned is it propagate to the left. So determine the wave number and also frequency of the wave. Okay, so we want to find the value for k and also frequency. Okay, so from here, because the graph is y versus x, so we know that for one complete oscillation, here is equal to lambda. Okay, if the questions give you y versus t for one complete oscillation, Okay, actually they will give you period. So it depends on what is the graph. Huh? Y versus T, they give you the period. Y versus X, they give you lambda. Okay, so K, the wave number is equal to 2 pi over lambda, where our lambda just now is equal to 2 cm. So I will convert it into meter. So 0 0.02. Okay, so finally we will get 100 pi per meter. Okay, next one we want to find the frequency okay okay so frequency we know that v equals to f lambda where v is 20 cm so i will convert it into meter 0 0.2 meter per second equals to f lambda where lambda is equal to 2 cm so i will convert it into 0 0.02 meter okay therefore the frequency is equal to 0 0.2 over 0 0.02 so it's equal to 10 hertz okay okay 5b Write the expressions of the displacement as a function of x and t for the wave above. Okay, so generally for progressive wave, y is equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx. Okay, so we substitute into the equations where the amplitude here from the graph is equal to 6 cm. Okay, so it's equal to 0 0.06 in meter sine. Okay, omega is equal to 2 pi f, so it's 2 pi f, f is equal to 10 hertz. Okay, plus minus. Okay, so plus minus here actually depends on the directions of the wave propagation. And the questions already give us is propagate to the left. So meaning that it is positive kx where k is equal to 100 pi x. Okay, so the equation is equal to 0 0.06 sine 20 pi t plus 100 pi x. Okay, so that's all for this subtopic. Okay, please watch our next video. We will discuss on standing wave. See you. Bye.